Welcome back to Animal Crossing. I am your host, Plus Advigui, and uh, we've got a few surprises in store. By which I mean, well, you'll see. What a good way to be greeted to the game that I love so much. Meh. Just get it, just load the game, please. <coughs> ah, pardon. And I hope you have a good death. Yeah. All right, new letters. We shall go ahead and grab them. So yes, one is a museum. Not even gonna read the letter because another ammonite. Great. <laughs> huh. 2 p.m. on March 2nd. I'll be at work. <laughs> Rip. 8,011. That's actually not terrible. Um. Right, yes, so I did. There was a, um, the raffle yesterday. I logged on for that, and, uh, I had two sets of raffle tickets for that. I finally figured out how they work. I got this lovely kitchen. I am so happy. My room is just a mess of gyroids now. <laughs> oh, yeah, I was also visited by Tortimer. He gave me some chocolates. For helping with the lighthouse. That's all I got. <laughs> I do this as a very important errand for a whole week. Take time out of my day. All I get is this box of chocolates. Eh. Oh yeah. Also. Got this letter from Boy. Oh, hey Millie. Hot potato, he says. And I haven't looked at the present yet, but I have a hunch. <laughs> yep. Yep. We're just gonna hot potato this can back and forth now, aren't we? This is our fate. But yeah, don't need these pot belly... Pot belly tickets? No. Raffle tickets. Just gonna dump them here because we're not gonna <laughs> probably not gonna be playing this in a year. I'm sorry. So, nook and go. I got some things to sell. Someone already cleaned out the furniture. Hmm. And most of the tools and, and whatever goes here. Carpet and wallpaper, yeah, that's right. I got a net already, so pff, nothing much to do but dump all of my crap. Nine thousand, not bad. Fossils are a pretty good way to make money, all things considered. Where this tree is. That's where I dug up the uh, the lovely stereo that one time. Oh hey, pear tree. You cannot get pears out of a tree with a net blah. You idiot. I think uh, I think boy has also been planting some pear trees in places. 
We're gonna be having a nice good old orchard. Ridiculiteful. Hey Pichu. <laughs> God dang it, I told you guys. <laughs> I have a day job. And also, a life. I know. Hard to believe, isn't it? You got anything for me? Hmm. Dang. Oh yeah, there's been at least one new villager. Two new villagers. <laughs> Uh, I already met Derwin. However, Fang is new. <laughs> yes, I have a job that isn't, uh, slaving away on Twitch for peanuts. Jeremiah. I know I only show up, like, twice a week and then... But, like, you gotta know who I am by now. I'm the reason this town exists. <laughs> it's slaving away in real life for peanuts. Yes. <laughs> Quite literally at that, uh, part of my job does involve uh, pushing peanuts. What is Rosie doing? <laughs> don't you look, don't you be spinning around behind me like that. She's looking for an opportunity to pickpocket me, isn't she? That's totally what it is. Get out of my face! Hey, Mark. Freya does not appear to be around. Bessie, yo! I think we're back? Don't know what happened there. Maybe it was an internet hiccup or something. I don't know. Anyway, we're back. Don't know what you missed. I don't think it was important, though. <laughs> I think, you know, now that I think about it, I'm probably still hooked up to my... Yeah, I'm hooked up to my, um, inferior internet. I, I could have taken the opportunity while the stream was down to change, but... Oh well. <laughs> it's probably fine. If it happens again, though, I will definitely switch. Uh... It's a very good question, Mark. That... Hmm. I mean, that'd be two of my enemies off the face of the earth in one fell swoop. I guess I'd be okay with that. <laughs> anyway, here's Derwin. I need work. People don't care enough nowadays. Uh, where is my rod? Uh, I didn't realize I still had a fossil. Could have sent that in yesterday. Oh well. Um, I'll put that in my inventory so don't forget about it. What's this? Umbrella. Yes, very important to keep that. Alright. Gonna stash my other tools. I can't loop around when I'm holding a tool. That sucks. And this one piece of stationery. Oh, this rainbow paper. Yeah, I can't use that for just anything. Alright, let's fish up... Uh, right, yes. Bessie wants me to catch a fish. That was her request. But you probably missed. Pond smelt. Oh, wait, this... This is a goldfish. If I recall, this is actually fairly valuable. Like, I want to say 1300 I'm not giving this to Bessie. <laughs> Call me cheap, but... Oh, hey. Yeah. 
There we go. Man. <laughs> God dang it. <laughs> uh, give me that beautiful money. Delicious. I guess I could try to plant something. Why not? So, the other day, I did in fact plant... Um, well, I planted two important trees. One of them is over here. Three important trees. <laughs> I got cherries from my virtual mother. So I planted them in the trees. I'm gonna plant some more of those. Whoops. Don't drop your shovel. Uh, let's see here. I mean, right next to this tree is probably a good idea. Well, not like directly next to it, but, you know, give it some space. Actually, wait. There's a rock here. I could plant a tree in a spot that would be useful for checking this rock. Let's do one here. Okay, actually, I mean, that was a, that was a decent spot for a tree. <laughs> okay. I think we've got enough pear trees growing, so I'll probably just sell the pears that I got. Uh, I'll put another one here? Sure. Hopefully it's not gonna be too big of a deal. So, um, two other important trees. There's one here. Yes. This is the one I plant. This is the golden shovel that I planted. I mean, I planted a regular shovel. Well, you put in the toaster. Toast, obviously. Um, coincidentally, <laughs> the boy apparently also got his golden spot here and decided to plant his other shovel as well. So now we got two nice, beautiful golden trees right next to the uh, the uh, post office. Now, there's one tree that's even more important, though, and it's this way. Other way. Yes! It's growing! <laughs> I, uh, I planted 30,000 bells here. So, when this matures, I'm gonna get a, a nice payout of 90k. Oh yeah! I think once a tree starts growing, like gets past the sapling phase, then it's good. Just has to, just have to wait for it. While we're here... Oh, is that stationary? Could always use more stationary. Is that the gelato shirt? Gelato shirt? <laughs> Do items in the Lost and Found ever expire? No idea. Also, does items being here prevent new items from spawning? You know what? I have no reason not to take this shirt. And the stationery. Snowy paper. Well, now that winter's on its way out, <laughs> can't think of no better time to get into those snowy festivities. Because we all miss snow so much already. Alright. What? Well, what an odd argument to have during a zombie apocalypse. Uh, 
Um, I think this fish is blind. <laughs> nope, it was just a troll. I don't have to mess with this lighthouse anymore. Um, how about I catch a sea bass for Bessie? <laughs> Okay, so I pressed the button randomly, just out of reflex, at the wrong time, and immediately I was like, God dang it, I screwed up. I lost the fish, and then I got the fish, and then it was a red snapper. Max Luck Blah is uh, back again. Let's catch this one, though. Gonna have to go to the dock for this one, I think. Pokemon? Can't say I'm not interested. Alright, there is your sea bass. Sea bass. <laughs> I love how even the main character is questioning himself. Why why do I do these things? <laughs> Alright, so hopefully it will give me a choice and not immediately give up the, uh, oh, the most valuable fish in my inventory. Also, while I'm here, Fang here has a nice beachside view. Uh, is he in? No, he's not. If I recall correctly, Fang was another one of my very first villagers in the game. I guess there's just not... Either there weren't very many villagers in the first... in GameCube Animal Crossing, or... I'm just getting... Nostalgia bombed. Willing to bet that both of these fish already exist in the museum, but... I'm gonna check anyway. Uh, this is only there is an easy way to find out. Uh, yeah, that looks like a goldfish to me. And probably, yep, red snapper right there. Is there a sea bass? That looks like a sea bass. <laughs> It'd be hilarious if he didn't donate a sea bass. I don't think I'm ever going to be able to donate a fish. <laughs> I don't know what to say to that. <laughs> Alright. Bessie... There you are. Sure is. I brought fish. I can choose, in fact. Here, have a sea bass. She she doesn't seem to mind. Nice. A raven pole? Raven pole. Hmm. Alright, I'll take a look at it. I don't think so. Not sure what you're thinking of, but... It'll fit right in. 
Oh, jeez. I have way too much stuff in here already. I blame the gyroids. Alright, I got it. Ravenpool will be my new guardian. Alongside Knight. I will add... Oh, I can't throw my Chinese lion in here. Dang. <laughs> A little disappointing. Oh well. I mean, I could sell it. <laughs> it probably wasn't going to become a permanent fixture of my house. Okay. Oh yeah, also, just to check out what's here. Racer shirt. Danger shirt. And a caveman tunic. Alright. Wow, this thing is ugly as sin? <laughs> no wonder it was in the Lost and Found. This card game I made. Um, actually, Kyle, do you want to take this? It's a lot to take in. <laughs> Assuming Kyle's still here. I mean, well, I made... I, I made most of it. <laughs> okay, fine. I'll change the title. I can barely fit it. There you go. Credit has been attributed. I want to wear the danger shirt. Wait a minute. This is the shirt that Rosie and Jeremiah were wearing. I am going to get rid of this right now. Caveman tunic. Looks like someone just spilled juice on it. <laughs> Yeah, I, I'm not going to wear that. I like the citrus. Probably just sell the rest of these. Alright, so there's one thing I wanted to try this time. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll get into that after I get these things sold. Sold? Sold. They're not mine. <laughs> I'll just uh, shove the boot in his pocket. He'll never know. Woo. All right, so I was looking through a notebook that I had since I was like really young. This thing's got to be like 20 years old. And I wrote down a bunch of codes for Animal Crossing stuff. Uh. Hey, Fuji. Um, yeah. Yeah, this would be the next stream. Uh, but yeah. Most of these codes are specifically for my old Animal Crossing character. <laughs> Apparently... My name was Vegeta, and my uh, my town name was called I Like Square, like the square symbol. I was a very strange child, <laughs> but uh, yeah, none of these codes are gonna work. But fortunately, there is one code that is a universal code, and this was my go-to. See, back in the day, I guess they like sold, like, they like printed these codes into like Nintendo Power and stuff, like magazines like that as like promotional things. You could just put these in and get stuff for free, no matter who or what you are. So, every day, I would go to Nook. Uh, 
and I would put in this code. And I almost memorized it too. It's it's actually not too difficult to, to remember. There are just a few oddities about it. That was it. So let's see if I got this right. <laughs> what? Ah <laughs> oh, yes, I see, I see. <laughs> that guy. My favorite. Favorite friend. So a grab bag uh, contains, I think, just any random item in the game. S three, in fact. Slate flooring, eight mat to Tommy, and a caladium, whatever that is. So you can actually put in this code three times a day. So you get nine random items a day. I'm gonna do that, because I like stuff. Hey, Denara Safina, welcome back. Um, still kicking, unfortunately. <laughs> also, hi, Wolfie. So, I put in this code so often that I got pretty good at typing it in. I wonder where this even comes from. <laughs> Sounds like you need to update your language, Mark. Alright, what's in this one? A daisy shirt. A mosaic tile. And a pink pinwheel. Oh. I can just... yeah. <laughs> Amazing, I love it. Alright, one more. Ah. Final bag. We have a yellow pinwheel, a steel flooring, and a blue flooring. A lot of carpets in these. <laughs> I got five carpets out of nine objects. I guess I'm going to have to try all these out. That's a nice color too. I mean, obviously I'm going to prefer the pink one. You know, this game has been around so long, it wouldn't surprise me if there was some kind of code generator online. You know what? I'm actually going to look this up. Animal Crossing GameCube Code Generator. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah, basically. <laughs> I'm not gonna, like, cheat with this, <laughs> because, um, I'd be kinda cheap. <laughs> Just get any item I want with this, no. But, uh, if anyone plays, like, plays this game or has an old save or something and you want to send me something, by all means, sure. And if you have something that you want for me in return, then I'll see what I can do. <laughs> I love it. It's beautiful. I am a precious child. <laughs> I haven't seen you in 15 years. <laughs> yeah, that'll be a shock. Just the whole... It's not... There's no grass anymore. It's just all weeds. Dude, this is so nice. <laughs> and you go into your house and it's just... The floor is made of cockroaches. <laughs> you can't step anywhere without... Uh, without absolutely caking your shoes in uh, delicious bug guts. All right, let's try these floorings out. Wow, I hate it. <laughs> let's see, eight mat to Tommy. Right. I feel like I've already had one of these actually, or maybe it was slightly different. Uh, mosaic tile. That's pretty nice. All right. That is my new current favorite. Although, mmm, that's, that's pretty classy right there. And a steel flooring, which I'm... I want to say this is what my house started with. <laughs> so, probably not. Alright, we'll keep the mosaic tile. I'll just sell the plaza tile, not a big deal. And I like the citrus shirt, but I'm going to keep the daisy shirt on for now, because it's it's so nice. I'm going to go ahead and add this to my wardrobe. Very nice. I'm going to keep this on me. You know, in case I feel like uh, it's a yellow pinwheel day. I do still have the wallpaper. <laughs> I've been getting nothing but carpets. I've not been getting any wallpapers. <laughs> I I switched my internet back, so hopefully it should be stable for the rest of the night. This is the joy of having two separate internets. <laughs> when one of them goes haywire, you can just switch to the other one, no problem. For the record, I'm not paying for two separate internets. One of them came with the apartment, and it's it's totally free. The other one, like since since this connection is like shared by everyone in the apartment building, we decided to just buy separate internet, and that's more reliable generally. But it's nice to have a backup. Anyway, I hope I wasn't out too long. <laughs> I might have to restart Sadie now, too. Yeah, I think I do. Sorry, Kyle. Alright, should be back up shortly. Uh, this pinwheel, I've, I went to the to the sell the pinwheel, and 120, I don't think that's worth it. Mm. 
Oh, whoops, no, I want to, I do want to sell some things. Uh, but yeah, what's the last thing you guys saw? Because I, I mailed some letters, I, I was, um, I went ahead and sent the blue flooring to Boy. I figured he would uh, appreciate that with the blue stuff in his house. All right, we're good. Anyway. Oh, God dang it, Sadie. <laughs> He's just like, whoa, we're live! Better announce it! Pings everyone. Eh. Oh yeah, one thing I was going to check. I forget if this is how it works, but uh, Boy informed me that the money rock is actually right here. Hopefully Bessie won't uh, <laughs> screw me up or try to steal any of the money that I that I collect from this, if this is the thing. No? Hmm. Maybe it was a different rock, actually, now that I think about it. Why are you freaking out like that? Are you okay? Is she, like, trying to kick the ball, but it's not on the same plane of existence, so she's screwing up. <laughs> what happens if you select this, anyway? Is this, they can just give you random tips? I want to say it was a rock that was adjacent to the cliff. At the very least. I can go and try to hunt it down. How's Carmen doing? Yet again, people are worried about me not showing up at the times that I never show up. done everything worth doing. <laughs> is that her way of saying that nothing I'm doing right now is worth doing? Oh. Huh. I don't think this would work anyway. It would just automatically make me dig the, the front of it. Nah. Yeah. Millie, you don't have to... You don't have to stay up for me. If you need sleep, go sleep. Oh yeah, hey, Lay. What? You were just standing there. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't want to say you can't, you couldn't count that high, but the fact that you're doubting yourself is not a good sign. <laughs> it's been bugging you. If I can find a bug, I will let you know. Although I don't think I've seen a bug yet since uh, since the game started, except for that one random 
hill bug, I think, which I never ended up catching. Eh. I get to spend the rest of the day fishing. I think I will. If I find a dragonfly, I might. Probably not this early in the year, but I know they exist in this game. Aha! Fish! God dang it. I'm gonna have enough boots at this point to uh, to equip an entire army. <laughs> Matching pair. If I was anywhere close to a pear tree, I'd be like, "That's not a matching pear. This is a matching pear." Go up and shake to the tree. Pretend that that happened and that it was funny. Remembering dreams. Oh, I missed that message. Ah. Uh. Yeah, um, I rarely retain... God dang it. <laughs> I, I rarely retain any of my dreams past, like, the first five minutes, and by the point that I'm able to, like, maybe write something down, I have completely forgotten. I do have some very weird dreams, though. Grrrr! I can't even do the best money-making method in the game right. I've got good aim, I do not have good timing. Mm. Yeah, that is uh, not really advisable, Kyle. They say it helps if you start keeping a dream journal. Ah, god dang it. So, like, you have a dream and you wake up and you write it down before you forget it and that helps you remember your dreams and uh, if you keep doing that it also helps you uh, go lucid as well which is another way of saying you can be more aware of when you're dreaming and you can kinda control it I tried to do that once but I became too lazy to keep it up and then stopped <laughs> This was like years ago, so maybe I'll try again. Gah! <laughs> uh. But yeah, that would be neat actually. I could like record some of my best dreams and then recount them on the stream at some point. I think that'd be pretty entertaining. Woo! Sure you love catching sea bass, am I right? This is worth my time. Yeah! At least it's good practice for the real thing. Uh. I 
Dang it, it's just slightly too far out. That fish just turned on a dime. Stole my bait and flew off. Dang, dude. Yeah, um... That sounds pretty awful. <laughs> Yeah. God dang it. <laughs> hmm. F is just strafed. Doing pro gamer moves over here. Yeah! <laughs> Isn't this fun, you guys? The fishing stream where I catch a lot of sea bass and miss a lot of the good fish and completely destroy my lungs in the process. I'm ready for you this time. What? Wait... <laughs> that... was weird. <laughs> I don't remember ever seeing that happen. Yeah, this is the edge of the map, yeah. They're always just barely far enough out that you can't get the thing in front of them. And if you try, it's just like, oh, nope, wait, oh. God dang it. Oh, his inventory. <laughs> yeah. yeah. it is good for, for shooting the breeze. I am good, though, at catching sea bass. When I played this game as a kid, I would always, like, psychoanalyze all the fish behaviors and be like, ah! <laughs> and be like, oh, this fish is, uh, is acting this way. It's not, like, reacting to the bobber when it's, like, ten degrees to the right of its face. It must be a red snapper. And to an extent, I think there actually is uh, a bit of a difference between fish behavior. But uh, it wasn't all, it wasn't all that reliable. I I just catch all the fish anyway. Yeah. God dang it. <laughs> Licensed fish psychologist. Psychola fish. I know that was reaching. This one's facing the beach. That one's probably a sea bass. It was definitely not a sea bass because I missed it. Um, just a few minutes. Rah. Hmm. 
But yeah, it looks like we're gonna have just Kyle and Digi for this. Um, Diamond hasn't responded and Wombat needs some time to herself, so... <laughs> so chances are it's just gonna be three, but... You never know, somebody might decide to pop in at the last second. Now Wombat's fine, she just has a lot going on. Like... She, she doesn't have a lot of energy most of the time, which, you know, nothing wrong with her, just, just one of those people. Yeah. Hmm. I'll fill my inventory, and then I'll probably call it. Controls are so touchy, too. Like, if you want to be precise with it, you can't. Yeah. How about this then? God dang, this fish is being a. Uh... You got it now? No. All right. This one's definitely not a sea bass, which means I'm not gonna be able to catch it. Whoa! Wait. Yeah. Ha! <laughs> yes. What a great note to end out on. Nice. Red snappers are 3k a pop, if I recall. Oh, hang on. Mike just got back to me. Maybe he can join us. Hey! He says he'd be up for it. <laughs> Heck yeah. Alright, cool. So we got uh, Kyle, Digi, and Mike. He has played before. I, I showed him the game. It was, uh, it, was, it was he and his wife played with me once. So he knows the basics at least. I don't think we got very far in the uh, in the game, but he won't be coming in completely blind. I made a decent sum today. Giving Tom Nook the boot three times. Ah, oh, yeah. <laughs> Sometimes it just be like that, Millie. <laughs> oh well. Alright. I'm gonna go ahead and save it here. So thank you guys for joining us tonight. Um, if you want to see some more Animal Crossing, that's gonna be Wednesday. Otherwise, you can stick around if you want to see the uh, the Blanket Deck Builder, which is a card game that uh, Kyle and I have been working on for ages. Hello, Feng. I never actually met you. But yeah, this thing is ridiculous. It's full of uh, it's full of random memes and in jokes and uh, shenanigans in card form. It's it's a Rube Goldberg machine of card games. That's what it is. 
And yes, it is insane. Can't wait to show it off. Ah, uh, yes, Mike. Welcome, and yes, this is the deck builder. Th this game right now is... <laughs> no. But yeah. Uh, if you want to check, if you want to stay up to date on the goings on, you can always follow me on Twitch, join us on the Discord to hang out with us, and YouTube is a place where we upload all our past streams, if you ever miss any. Ah. And with that, I've been Blossed Epigui. You guys have been awesome. See you in the future.